So the goal is to get this guy in there. You gotta move some stuff out, take some stuff out. Hopefully I don't have to cut anything to get it in there. So let the fun begin. Well my last truck had the fridge here, which is kinda nice. You can sometimes reach around and grab it. Um, but this truck came with an APU unit which was mounted to the side of this cabinet and um this ECM whatever it's for so this side's probably I mean obviously not I'm gonna get chopped up where I'm probably gonna go with it is here take the bottom piece out which shouldn't be a problem the only issue is there's a uh, some sort of a vent going through into the upper cabinet so I have to figure out what to do but I'm gonna start taking the stuff off to make room for it uh, so we'll see how it works out but that's where it should go this passenger side cabinet there's a bolt in here two bolts on the outside so I'm gonna start with that um, just work my way up um, there's a bracket here with four and uh, smaller ones that are attached to the upper cabinet which I'm trying to keep in there so the goal is just to remove this bottom piece out so you can zoom out and um, keep the upper cabinet where it is so we'll see how it goes one's in the bottom one there two on the outside they were this Volvo is European made in USA um, so far they use all metric instead of US standard um, the ones on the bracket are 13's for some reason bigger than the ones on the bottom and all I have left is these little guys and this um, little star key for the vent and this should be out the only thing I'm debating is should I leave the bracket on and try to use it um, for um, securing the fridge with straps or whatnot or I'm not gonna take it out but uh, I'll get there once I have the fridge in and see uh, how I'm gonna secure it so so far not too bad going pretty good these are 10 millimeter there's six of them five are piece of cake and they decided to put one right there which there's no way I have access to right now, so I'm assuming I gotta take this piece of vent out, which breaks right there. Hopefully, it just slips out so I can get to the sixth one and uh, remove this cabinet. <laughs> Seems like it wants to come out, so um, I'm gonna give this vent a try, take the screw out, and see what else I need to do to, to get in there. So, on the vent, it's actually a Torx 20. So, I think. Harbor Freight for providing us with such quality to tools for um, <laughs> half a price at Home Depot or any other store. So it's a little Torx 20 bit. So now I'll have to the, uh, try to get a vent out so I can get the last um, 12 millimeter that's in the back corner out so I can pull the cabinet. So the vent was a no biggie, it was just that one screw. and. Uh, nothing else is holding it so it's just a matter of wiggling it out there's a kind of pain in the ass because there's not much clearance to push it back and forth but just gotta play with it and it comes out easy so to on to the last 12 and uh, we'll see if we can pull this thing out so the piece is out it's pretty easy you just have to wiggle it around a little bit um, these knobs are actually inside of this cabinet probably to try to prevent it from moving so you gotta Play around and try to lift this upper one a little bit and get it out uh, but nothing else uh, was holding it came out pretty easy just again just gotta wiggle it um, I'm gonna have to fill these in um, probably with some type of foam just for noise reduction before I put the fridge in and I gotta figure out how to strap it in that strap it down I'm probably gonna be using these holes um, I'm gonna make some kind of contraption or I can put the ratchet straps on and strap it down. I decided to take this 
cabinet bracket off. Um, I didn't like the idea of these screws sticking out and uh, possibly banging them back at the fridge and whatnot. Um, I'm just gonna have to try to find a way to strap the fridge. Probably gonna be using the bottom instead of that. This is sideways, anyways. Um, and I'm uh, getting along, getting along. Let's fill these in for some um, noise reduction. I'll be behind the fridge anyways, you won't be able to see it. Uh, so now I'm debating getting a microwave as well and just um, strapping the fridge and the mic and the microwave at the same time. Might as well. Like I said earlier, this truck came with an APU unit on it, Thermo King, and they already have a converter installed. I don't have to waste three, four hundred dollars running that. It's already here. So the only bad part is on the other side. So I would have to. Eh, just gonna run cables down, figure out something, maybe under that channel. It looks like it's a Torx or some sort as well. I might lift up the channel and um, run a cable down under the channel and up. That way, it's not a safety hazard uh, won't be able to trip on it, probably won't be able to see it so it's probably the way it's gonna go and um, the only bad part is I gotta put this vent back in which is gonna look ridiculous as my father always say let's see how that looks but that's gonna have to go back in cause that's what events are. It runs through the entire upper cabinet. Um, well, it should have enough clearance to put the microwave next to it. Or um, I'm debating of cutting this tab off. Cause it's pointless. Even if I put the cabinet back in, it doesn't do anything. It's just nothing. You know, if you want to secure it, or you have to run a one or two self-tapping screw. Which probably better anyway, so I'm probably going to cut the tab off so I don't bang on it with my luck. I always hit shit randomly, so that's probably going to end up getting cut. But prep work is done, I gotta clean, this, clean all this up. Um, gotta look at some other stuff as well. I bought this truck from Penske, which they were nice enough to give me a brand new mattress. It's just, it's... Volvo, it's awful. It's fucking awful. The springs are terrible. So that's gonna get replaced. Ain't nobody trying to sleep on that shit. So, moving on. So, on the channel, same as that one screw, one screw on the vent. Um, it's a Torx 20. There's only four of them. And it pops out. I was hoping it would be a, a hollow one so you can run the wire through, but nonetheless, you can just run the wire under the mat. Um, there's quite a bit of moisture here. Some damp. I don't know if it's from spillage or it's just around the channel, so probably was just somebody spilling shit it's sitting there. So. And the nice thing about this Thermo King and converter comes with GFI, so I don't have to worry about tripping breakers or um, if something happens with the fridge or mic. This will trip, so it won't cause any damage to the unit. So the cable's gonna run down under under the uh, matting, over. So it'll be a nice clean look once everything's done. So. Rat just trapped in Harbor Freight with a coupon, a couple bucks. So I was gonna, I was thinking about using that to ratchet down the fridge. Um, I'm not sure if I like it or not. These hooks are pretty big. Let's figure out how to tie it down. So uh, we'll do something out. What I'm thinking about doing maybe is putting a um, piece of plywood as a base and. Um, screwing them down to the existing uh, holes where the cabinet was um, just use a cabinet base as a template then you know drill three holes and just uh, run the 
run the screws down. I'm gonna have to get longer screws for it, obviously. Um, cabinet's like a quarter. And plywood probably gonna be three quarters. I don't think um, the existing screws will catch much, so I'm gonna have to get longer ones. But, um, but put the base blade down and screw that to the frame and uh, drill holes. Um, probably gonna use two straps. So drink two holes on each side and uh, just hook the ratchet straps to the plywood and then strap it. It would actually be holding the, um, you know, it would be uh, tight on the plywood which is screwed on to the, uh, the frame itself and uh, the fridge should not be going anywhere. So that's the plan. Uh, we'll just um, figure it out if I stick with it or make any changes to it. Um, but I uh, have to get some more supplies for this project. I ended up getting a piece of uh, MDF 2x2. Home Depot didn't have any plywood pre-cut. There was nobody around. This should be fine. Not ideally what you want to use, but it should be fine. So, um, pretty much what I'm doing right now is I'm tracing the uh, the holes for the cabinet. Um, they're gonna have holes drilled out in the plywood and um, the fridge is 18 and a half wide um, I'm gonna cut it 20 inches that way I have a place on each side to drill holes for the actual ratchet straps that will be used so um yeah pretty much it um, I'm gonna trace it cut it measure it uh, try to dry fit it probably gonna have to trim the front but I'm gonna leave it as 20 by 2 and then um I think the, uh, the T-channel ends here, so I'm just going to dry fit it for final fitment and I'll figure it out um, how to seal those gaps that are, that are in the truck from the cabinet. Um, I did buy some foam for door and window, spray foam, so I might just use that to cover the gaps because it's underneath and it's a half inch MDF, should give enough sound. Um, I couldn't find it. I have some um, dynamite somewhere. I couldn't find it. So it'll be fine. It's thick enough. So we'll see how it goes. It's um, eight foot cable to Walmart. Um, 14 gauge and it's rated for 1800-ish watts. So it should be fine. Um, gonna run under the cha channel under a mat. It's gonna go on this side. Refrigerator and the microwave. Much. This is going to be the template. I have to um, trim a quarter of this side to line up the hole. Um, these two should line up. So I mean, there was only three bolts holding the cabinet. So the existing three bolts should hold um, this piece of plywood. I'm going to try to use the existing bolts that I already have because um, it's only half inch MDF. And I have to notch around the um, the seat belt the brackets, um, and then we'll go from here. Cables already ran. Um, I'm trying to get a six footer. But I got eight. I mean, I'm just gonna put it right up there. That way, the mic and the refrigerator reaches. Um, whenever you run electrical, you never want to have too much wire. Or cable, especially if you have to bunch it up, then it just ends up um, overheating. So you want to keep it at a minimum as possible to avoid any of that. Um, so it should hold it. The microwave is only um, 1,000 watts, and the cable's 1,800 rated. So it should definitely be enough. So now it's just to um, make adjustment. Um, dry fit again and I bought a cheap can of black paint black paint at Home Depot so once everything is uh, working and all the holes line up I'm going to end up painting both sides um, you know, for looks and for uh, moisture or whatnot. so keep moving We're running all day so this is where we at the um, <clears throat> the base plate has been cut, trimmed, adjusted. 
um, space for the cable, space for the um, seat belt strap. So everything looks perfect, other than the fact that uh, the way I design these straps. Hmm, they're gonna hit the fridge. So what I have to do is I have to um, bend these the other way, all four of them, so they are sideways. So when I strap them, um, there's no issues because I wanted I wanted this to be as small as a footprint as possible. It literally would be under the fridge. You won't even be able to see it. It's 19 and a half wide by 20 long. Um, it's pretty much what the fridge is. I mean, I could have went eh, almost two inches more. They don't have to mess with the um, with the straps, but this side would run into the same issue. Anyways, <clears throat> so all I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna twist them sideways, and uh, that's gonna work. Uh, the holes all line up, all three of them, so the piece is ready to paint. Um, while that's drying, I'm going to twist the straps and um, then we'll find out if the uh, original bolts are long enough and we'll have to go get longer ones. So, keep on moving. <clears throat> Spray paint. Um, bought some cheap dollar joint in Home Depot. Should have probably. Been. A little bit of better Zimdf, so it's soaking every drop out. So, anyways, uh, both sides will get painted, dried off, and mounted. I do have to get longer screws. I just dry fitted it. I'm a half inch short to the uh, original ones, so I'm just gonna run Home Depot and uh, get a longer ones and um, keep on moving. So, we're ready to roll. Using some uh, window and door foam. To uh, try to insulate this, ah, the lid's on. Shit. So, put the piece down and keep on moving. So, straps are in. Cord is up. I need some Velcro to hold it. I uh, just gotta bring the damn thing in here somehow. It's gonna be a pain of freaking ass. Ready to um, install the refrigerator. So there you go. Installation of a fridge and a microwave and a 2012 Volvo. Ended up using two bright ass orange straps from Harbor Freight. Oh, horrible video, but rock solid. Again, the base is screwed to the frame, and then the straps from both sides holding the fridge and the microwave together. It's not going anywhere. Keep on moving. <clears throat>